Hello again, friends! Today we come to the last figure in X-Men Legends Week. It's Iceman. He's the last guy just because I haven't found any more to buy yet. Let's open him up! Out of the box, Iceman looks awesome. Let me emphasize that again. He looks awesome because while the sculpting itself is really cool and like especially on the face, if you look up close at the face, he's got like these sort of angles in there that make it look like his face is frozen. It's a very cool sculpt and he has this piece on his back of ice shards and it's kind of separate and they probably should have super glued it. But oh, it's because you can take it off. That's nice. Very nice bonus. That's kind of an accessory. I kind of like him with it off. But the real problem with the sculpt is, look at this, it's not the sculpting, it's the material. He's got these rubbery lower limbs on his arms and legs, the forearms and the shins and the hands and the feet are also rubbery. Torso itself and the upper arm and the lower arm are all very hard plastic. And I think they went with this rubbery kind of plastic to make him have that icing effect where the extremities of his limbs have a slightly different color, like it's getting colder and colder, and it's turning to the shade of white the like further out from the body you get. But I really dislike that these are so rubbery. I, I mean, come on. He sh it should not been like that, right, guys? Like I said when I was talking about the sculpt, Iceman looks good. He's only got two paint applications if we talk about the paint, and those are his eyes. The rest of him is cast in translucent blue plastic, and it looks really great. I really love how the head is a lot whiter than the rest of the body, like the top of him is just getting more solidly frozen and it looks white. Uh, I mean, there's no paint to really talk about. I like how he's translucent, and uh, that's it. No paint otherwise. So Iceman has a bit of a weird sculpt and almost no paint to speak of, but he has awesome articulation. If we take a look, he's got a ball joint on a hinge at the head. He has hinge and swivel shoulders, but then he also has shoulder pivots, the kind Marvel Legends had way back in the Toy Biz days. Then he's got a cut bicep, he's got double elbows, and they're pretty fluid. I'm surprised at that. And he's got a hinge and swivel wrists, he has an ab crunch, twist waist, he's got ball joint hips, and then he has cut thighs. This one's pretty stiff, and then the right one is totally stuck on mine, so that's a bit of a bummer. But then he's got double knees, and he's got a hinge and pivot ankle on both feet, and his feet are so rubbery, that kind of bothers me. So this was the packaging. It's pretty great, like all the other packaging for the wave. On the side, you see some character artwork of Iceman, and I'm gonna be honest, in this picture, it looks like his hair and his whole body is made of rocks, because he's colored this sort of earthy yellow tone. It looks kind of weird, but on the back, you get an awesome picture of Iceman crouched over, and if you look up close, he's got this cool texture on the, on his chest, and there's little swirls and stuff, and unfortunately, none of that was on the final figure. But the packaging was nice otherwise. So Iceman doesn't really come with accessories unless you count this thing that snaps onto his back, which we found out is removable before, but, you know, that's not something you'd hold. It's kind of a part of your body. Other than that, he comes with the arm of Juggernaut, and Juggernaut's so strong he can make you fall just by having his arm in your presence. Iceman stands at just a hair over six and a half inches tall, and that's quite literal. His hair is what's pushing him above that six and a half inch mark. As you can see, he looks awesome next to the other figures in the wave, the ones that I've found so far, at least. And as always, here's a comparison of him next to DCUC Batman and Pizza Spider-Man. He looks to be in great scale with them. But he looks even cooler next to this other transparent figure, a Human Torch figure from the Toy Biz days. And you can see how far we've come from the Toy Biz days. Iceman's a little bit bigger all around. And it's funny, because Iceman just came out as gay, so you think he'd be the one who's flaming. <laughs> now, if there's one thing an Iceman figure is supposed to be, it's cool. And this figure does look really cool. I do have a few issues with it. I don't like the rubbery limbs. I'm worried how well they're going to hold up over time. But overall, he looks amazing. The articulation's terrific. I do recommend this figure. If you're an Iceman fan, go get him, because he looks amazing in person. It's just kind of rubbery at the ends. Like... Stretch Armstrong rubbery.